Welcome back everyone, you're watching All The Beer No Idea, I'm Baz. Uh, next beer we got coming up now is uh, it's a bit of a rare thing to do for me. Uh, normally when I end up buying beers, they get, they tend to get put to the back of the queue, uh, in you know, in order of review if you like. Uh, but this time I'm reviewing one that I picked up yesterday and it's part of the new Lidl's uh, craft beer range if you like. And I quite fancy the lager so I'm going to do one. So it's from... Calvors Brewery, 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 Calvors Brewery, I should say, and this is a can of their dry hopped lager, coming in at 4.3% in a 330 ml can, uh, this was £1.29, it's a first for me, never heard of them, uh, never had anything from them, so uh, should be interesting, quick look at the label, I do like that, that did catch my eye, not that it matters what the label looks like, uh, it says light, hoppy and crisp, so let's get it out the can, see what we get hopefully it's going to be light hoppy and crisp and not have that horrible sort of typical tinny sort of taste to it i'm hoping it's going to be quite nice but one pound 29 i suppose i can't really expect too much but we'll see what we get so also rare for me not just beers i buy but to actually get one of these out you know these little ones a lot of people bang them out, they go out, rush out, buy them, get them done. Uh, so it's quite rare for me to actually do one quick. Anyway, beer in a glass, nice sort of light golden colour, plenty of carbonation as you can see. Quite a spacious white head. So let's dive in on the nose, see what we get. Ooh. A sweet malty sort of... God, cool, there's a... There's a, yeah, floral and tropical notes in there, definitely. I couldn't pick it out, but it's more, yeah, it was more the floral notes I was getting, but I'm getting a hint of tropical sort of notes in there. A slight sweetness. Hmm. Uh, a little bit maybe bready as well. It actually smells very good indeed. So let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, everyone. It's okay. Right. As a drink, I like it. I'm not going to knock it for that. As a drink, I like it. Let's go in again. Typical sort of lager body. Uh, not watery, but very thin. Gentle carbonation. Mouth feels not particularly... It's a bit rough around the edges. Uh, light, hoppy and crisp. It's crisp. Uh, it's quite light to drink. It's definitely hoppy. But for me, what this is doing, uh, it's, what hops does it say it's using? Let's see. I mean, it's good that it says no... No uh, nasty chem chemicals or preservatives in it. It's got an IPA feel to it for me with the hops. It, yeah, it's got more of a nail feel to it. Uh, with that floral thing in there. And the hops taste more IPA stroke ale. Uh, dry hop lager. It, like I said, it, 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 it's more ale IPA in my view. Uh, it's crisp enough. Uh, it's light to drink. It's quite enjoyable. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad, not a bad beer. Uh, it doesn't doesn't wow me to be honest. Uh, probably better than I expected. Uh, yeah, go out, pick it up, see what you think about it. But for me, if you're expecting a lager, this doesn't, for me, taste enough of a lager for me personally. But it's a nice enough drink. £1.29, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, it's as, as good as you're going to... It's, it's 
as good as you're going to get for that price. Uh, it certainly doesn't taste nasty or anything. Uh, it's a little bit different. It's okay, uh, but nothing, nothing to go rushing out about. Uh, but but nice enough, I suppose. So there you go. That's from Calvors Brewery, and it's dry hop lager, four point three percent. It's all right. It's drinkable. It's not drain bloody pour, sink pour, drain pour, whatever you want to call it. Let me know what you think if you've had it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. As I always say, struggling to get my words out. And being as I'm struggling, I'm going to leave it there. So thanks all for watching, and I'll see you again on another beer review very soon. Cheers.